everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome back to October week can I can I give it an official name let's give it an official name it is officially three days until the blessed day of Halloween and that means that I get to post another Halloween related video today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to get cute little Halloween themed nails. I love doing nail art and doing my nails in general. I have way too many nail products and way too many nail polishes and so I decided that it would be good if I showed you guys how to do one. I had a really difficult time choosing which design I wanted to do because I had so many ideas going through my head, but I decided to choose one that didn't require you to have like nail art brushes or any kind of like special tools because I know a lot of people don't have those things because a lot of people aren't as insane as I am. They're just cute little candy corn style nails and then I did um, cute little creepy eyes on the ring finger because I can't ever just have a simple manicure. If you want to see how to get these simple, cute Halloween nails, then I just keep watching. Hey guys, so I've already filed and buffed my nails the way I want them to. For this video, you're going to need a base coat, top coat, white and black nail polish, and orange and yellow nail polish. I have a dotting tool, but you can just use a toothpick. And then you're going to need white acrylic paint along with some black acrylic paint. You can use the white and black nail polish if you want to, but acrylic paint works a lot better. So you're just going to start by applying your base coat. I really like this Sachet V base coat because it dries super fast and you can get it at Sally's or Target. I think it's a Target. Next you're going to go in with the white nail polish and you're going to paint your entire nail. If you're going to do something different on your ring finger like I did, just leave it bare because it makes it a lot easier than if you were to add white. And when you're trying to do this look, we're going to be layering a lot of nail polish. So try your hardest to make the base of the nail thick and then the tip of your nail as thin as you can. Because if you build up the polish a bit too much, it can get a little, it'll peel easily. And I went ahead and did two coats. Next you're going to go in with your orange nail polish and you're going to paint two thirds of your nail. You may be tempted to go horizontally instead of vertically like how I'm doing but I would suggest that you just go ahead and stick it out and do it vertically because it's in the long run it's going to be a lot easier. It'll be less streaky and you'll be able to get the entire the edges of the nails. Next, you're going to go in with your yellow nail polish, and you're going to paint the top third of your nail. My nail polish is really, really thin and transparent, so I had to do three coats to get it the way I wanted it to. But make sure that you're getting the very edge of the nails well, well so that the orange doesn't peek through. And a lot of people, when I tell them that I do my nails um, like two or three times a week, they ask me, how do you have the patience to let it dry? And my biggest hint or tip is that you should let the coats dry between you, between when you put them on. Because it'll just cut down on your dry time a lot if you just kind of let them sit for a bit before you apply your next coat. And this is what your nails should look like after the candy corn part. Next, you're just going to take a black nail polish and paint your ring finger. I love this black nail polish by Milani. It's the only black nail polish I use anymore because it's really thick. I only ever need one coat and it dries super fast. And then you're going to take your dotting tool or toothpick and you're going to go in with white acrylic paint. This is the part where you can be really creative. You can do two sets of eyeballs, one big set of eyeballs. I decided to go with three little ones that like alternate back and forth. And I just think they're super cute. You're going to want to make the little eyes not too big, but definitely not too small, about the end of a pin. Then you're going to go in with the black acrylic paint, and you're going to get very, very, very little on whatever tool you're using. And you're just going to put a little pupil inside each white dot. It's really important that the black from the pupil does not touch the black in the background. So it should be completely encompassed by the white or else it's just not going to look, it's not going to look as good. 
And when you're done, just apply your top coat. I would suggest waiting a good five or 10 minutes before you apply your top coat or else the white eyeballs and the layers on the candy corn are gonna streak and then all of your hard work will be for nothing. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did this nail look, comment down below and let me know how it went for you. And I hope you guys have a spooky day and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye everyone.